Hey, I'm Arnold Chi Summer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a landing page in 10 minutes without any coding skills or prior knowledge needed. You will learn everything you need to do to have your first landing page ready within minutes. This is going to be awesome. Stay tuned. Before we get started with this exclusive landing page training, please like this video and smash the subscribe button right below this video. It's really going to help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you've been wondering about the easiest way to create a stunning yet high converting landing page, then you have landed on the right video. The tool we're going to be using for this job is Convertry, which is an easy drag and drop solution for website builders like you and me, which lets us create squeeze pages, landing pages, sales pages, thank you pages, I mean literally anything you can think of. You can choose a pre-designed template which is fully customizable, which means that you are going to have a unique looking landing page for whatever project you need. There's three things you need for this. One, Convertry, comparably cheaper than most other landing page builder tools. You can sign up for a 14 day free trial today. Second, HostGator is what you need to host your website's files. Free Aweber is an email marketing service provider. You can get a 30 day free trial today. I pasted the free trial sign up links in the description below this video. Let's begin building a landing page that is going to convert your traffic into leads. Once you've signed up for your Aweber account, we are ready to start building our first landing page. There are a couple things that we need to do here. Firstly, go to account and click on integrations. And here you can see all the different applications that we can integrate our Convertry account with. And one of those applications is Aweber, which is an email marketing service that I'm personally using to build my email list. So you want to click here on Setup, and then it will ask you to log in to your Aweber account. So you're going to need your login credentials, username and password, and you just log in and the account will be connected shortly. This will be the first thing that you need to do here. The next thing that we need to do is to set up a new funnel. So we are going to click on campaigns and we're going to click on create new and then we're going to click create a funnel from scratch. Now we're going to give this funnel a name. Here's the name that I'm going to be using. Next we need to create a domain. As you can see here in my instance a domain has already been created but in your instance you will not have a domain, a subdomain attached to your account. And you can choose anything that you want here. I chose webeinstein.convertry.com. But you can choose any subdomain that's currently available and come up with a name. Then I click on create. And now we can see, voila, we have our funnel created. Now we click on new page. And now we can choose from a number of pages here. And for our particular purpose, we're just going to be creating a squeeze page because we're going to be picking up emails so I'm going to choose the first one right here and we're going to give this page a name as well. So I'm just going to call this squeeze. I'm going to click OK. And now that we clicked OK, we're going to be able to edit our page. There's a couple things that I really want you to understand here first. So we're basically going to be designing one version for on desktop and one version for mobile. A desktop version and mobile version. And as you can see here, now we are on our desktop version, right? So we have this enabled here. But then if we want to click on mobile, you can see how the page comes up on an iPhone 7, 8, X, whatever it's going to be. We're going to need to make some adjustments before we're going to have this ready. But we're going to start with our desktop version first. And now what we need to do is we actually need to integrate our AOEB list. So we're going to go here and we're going to click on autoresponders, click AWeber. And now we're going to have an option to choose a list and I'm going to choose a GMB YouTube leads and this is all fine. Another thing that we need to do is we're going to need to create a thank you page um, which we're going to be putting in here. So in my instance I already have a thank you page ready. So I'm going to be pasting my thank you page URL in here and you can create this thank you page also with this application. It's also integratable. I mean, you can also create it and I have done that now. So once the person opted in, once they hit the submit button, they're going to get redirected to this page here, gmbdomination.com forward slash thank you. Now we click on done. And the next thing that we need to do is we're going to need to alter the headline, the subheadline, 
gonna need to add an ebook cover and we also need to add it all of this obviously I have already created the text here so I'm going to add this now it's gonna be really really quick this landing page creator tool is so intuitive so you can see here we can simply drag and drop this so here we have the entire field and if we just want to drag and drop this I mean it's super intuitive right let's say we want to change the font size and color here so here we have font size we're gonna choose 36 here and we're gonna bold this as well which is here and we're gonna change this we have some text here so this was 72 probably want to be sticking to the same here for desktop it's sort of big but we can also you know stretch this a little bit maybe it's gonna fit in one no it doesn't so we're gonna make this like a little bit smaller maybe 66 60 voila and now kind of like when it was green so as you can see here we're going to highlight this and we're going to choose a nice green here i think this is pretty good we're going to bold this too voila and i'm going to grab the next text copy paste so i already have this prepared as you can see this way have again font size 36 i'm going to make this 36 again and we're going to be stretching it a little bit so it fits in one line but this is perfect as well and now here this is where the subheadline goes i'm going to make this a little bit bigger maybe going to make this like 26 ish something like that maybe yeah it looks good and we're going to bold this probably The next thing that we need to do is move this a little bit up because there's a little bit of a gap here now so sort of like this and this we can actually keep it the same we're going to get rid of the name field going to move the email address up a bit more and then here we kind of like to change the color here as well so click on element properties and button settings text color you see we can change this but what we want to change is the button color so we're going to click on background and kind of don't like this green too much I like it a little bit lighter you know I want it to stand out I think this is pretty good let's select this and then we also want to bold the text it's important you can extra bold it it's fine then when you're done you just click on the X so click on element properties again Make sure we have this selected here, so this is the one that we're going to edit. Change image, and I already have it prepared here, so we're going to choose select here, and the size is pretty good. Looks, we move it up a little bit more, but that's pretty much it. And now you see we have a little bit of a gap here again between the footer and this, so I'm actually going to get rid of this green bar. We're not going to need this. I'm going to be moving this up a little bit like this, and here you can see this is the official end of the page, this gray box here. I'm going to be moving this up a little bit and this here too so this is pretty much it now we're going to be adding our links in here in terms of service and everything which I have prepared now obviously you still have to set up those pages yourself it's not rocket science and it's pretty easy you can install WordPress on your domain and just grab the content of from Google you're not going to be able to figure that out just go on Google and search for like terms and, and conditions creator or privacy policy creator and you're going to be able to get content from Google so you don't have to write those pages yourself and the last thing that we need here is a contact us so I'm just gonna click on this there's a pretty cool uh, clone feature here you click on that it just auto clones it we're going to need this for the mobile version as well I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to change it I'm going to grab this link here and update voila now we're going to move this a little bit here you see this is so easy I mean it's just drag and drop I mean couldn't get any easier than this and now we click on publish and now we're going to choose a uh, YouTube 
maybe, whatever. I mean, this is just a test page. I mean, I'm just doing this for you guys. And now that this page has been saved, we can preview it. See what it looks like. Here's our official preview of this page. And as you can see here, it looks pretty good. I mean, we have a headline, then we have a subheadline here. Make sure there are no spelling mistakes. And what you want to do is then you want to upload this page. So you're going to get the index.html file. You're going to be uploading this to your HostGator account. We're going to show you this in just a second. All these pages are working. I have tested them. That's all good. Now, the last thing that we need to do here is we're going to create the mobile version of this page. And this takes a little bit of adjustments because we're going to have to move stuff around. You can see it does not look good on mobile. So I'm going to be doing this now. I'm going to adjust the font size because this is not necessary. And I'm going to be moving this up. I'm going to be decreasing the length of the page. So it's going to take me a little bit now. So I'm going to be pausing this video and I'm going to be back once I have updated it. Voila, we are back. Now here you can see that I have pretty much adjusted this page. So now you not only have a desktop version, you also have a mobile version, which is the most powerful because most of the traffic these days is mobile traffic. One thing that I wanted to point out here is that I have added another opt-in form, which is above default, which is very important because on desktop, it was very well optimized. So you could see that right on the screen above the fold, the person was able to request the free information, the free ebook. And we have done the same right now online. I mean, for the mobile version. So here the person sees the headline and they're going to be able to leave their email address and request this ebook right now. But then here underneath is the sub headline. Here they can see the ebook and then there is another opt in option here so we have two actually that's how i like it for mobile it converts much much higher this way so i recommend doing this and this is pretty much it the last thing that i'm showing you now is to how to download your files and how to upload them to your hosting and get your site going here we are now and how you're going to download this file is you're going to click on the drop down here click on more and here you see an option to export download html file and here voila it's being downloaded and now I'm going to show you what this looks like on my actual website. As you can see, I uploaded this index.html file to my hosting and it's now live on my website, gmbdomination.com forward slash YouTube. And it looks pretty awesome, guys. It looks great. So I like to do a test opt-in, put in your email address, hit the get instant access button in my instance. And I want to see, I want to make sure whether the opt-in shows up in my Aweber account. Did you find this video educational? Did you learn something today? I really hope so. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel. There's a red subscribe button right underneath this video. I would love to have you as a subscriber and you're going to be notified anytime I should publish a new video to this channel. So it's going to be really great content, hopefully great content on internet marketing, on how to build an internet advertising agency, PPL marketing, CPA marketing, list building. We're doing the whole spectrum of things here, guys. So please subscribe right underneath this video. Hit the like button if you haven't done so yet. I see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.